Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to review a PLA filament from Filament Friday or Chuck Hellebuck. He has a YouTube channel called Filament Friday and he made a filament series out for sale on Amazon. And I went out and bought a few rolls and tried the filament out. So let's have a look at my results after the intro. So before I start, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel. You can click the buttons below to subscribe and leave a comment and like or dislike the video. I really appreciate some feedback from you guys on how I'm doing in my videos. I'm always trying to do something new in the channel and, and perform better in front of the camera. And people have been asking me to smile a little bit, so here I go. <laughs> I'm smiling. <laughs> Good. <coughs> But uh, let's have a look at the filament. So the filament comes in this box and the filament rolls come in a resealable plastic bag that you can close afterwards. So that's really nice. Um, here it says it's a filament Friday filament compatible with all FDM printers. Um, it's easy to print and has a very good diameter variability, 0 0.02. So they claim to have it very well tuned in in the manufacturing process. I got three colors, uh, blue, white and grey. And as you can see from the spools, I've printed quite a lot of things. And I'm starting to really like this filament, so I've been printing out some of my landscape models with it. And here you can see one print I did. I had to had an issue with my CR10 that was giving me trouble. So this was a cancelled print at this position. But the print quality of this landscape was really good and I was really happy with it. And I printed out several landscapes. This one I, I just painted. And this was coming out very good with a grey filament. And, and here's another one, a landscape model of a glacier. And this is the blue filament. So for those prints uh, of the landscape model, it was working very well for me. So I was getting practical use of this filament. Right from the start, I want to show you the prints I did. My usually first prints with the filament is a stringing test. Um, I was using uh, the Prusa PLA profile, uh, printing at 205 degrees with this filament, uh, this test print, and it was coming out excellent. There was almost no stringing, uh, just a tiny wisps, but nothing that I could speak of. So uh, right from the start, I was getting good results and the layer strength of the spikes is quite good. And it's rather difficult to, to break it. And so that's a good sign. It has very good layer adhesion. So I was quite happy straight with the first prints. And I then printed out those two test pieces. One is lying on a bed like this and, and one is like this. And I do this as a break test to see the strength of the filament. It's quite difficult to break this one that was lying on the bed like this. Um, this one was maybe medium difficulty to break. This test the layer adhesion of this small print size. So if it's uh, difficult to print, I get very good layer adhesion. And, and this was like medium, uh, medium good. So I'd say pretty good layer adhesion. And here I was printing at 200 degrees. And I used that temperature for the remaining the prints because it was coming out pretty good at that temperature. I then printed out this test piece and this one came out absolutely perfect. There was no issues anywhere in the print and the overhang tests here were excellent and the dome is very smooth and the bridging here is just perfect and there are absolutely no issues and it was just probably one of the best test prints of this print I had have ever done. So I was really happy how it came out. I then did the overhang tests and those are printed. One is facing away from the fan and one towards the fan. And here at the topmost part of the, of the print that was facing the fan, it has a small amount of drooping. And the one that was facing away from the fan, uh, that was coming out better. And you can see in the ends, they are very, very straight. So very little drooping. And this was coming out very good. Um, just uh, very good surface texture and no issues 
like here in the 70 degrees it's absolutely flawless so this was coming out very good and then did the breaching test um, usually I get one or two strands and the longest band drooping a little bit and that was the case also with this filament but the other bridges were coming out without any problems so I would say this was one of the one of the best breaching tests I've done with a PLA filament so this was coming out excellent and printed out my maker coin and that came out excellent also um, just no no issues at all with the print it was just printing printing away without any problems and I was printing this on my Prusa and K3 printer and then printed out those retraction tests and this was printed on my Prusa MK2 printer and here I had a tiny amount of stringing but nothing to speak of and it was coming out great and this one was printed at 200 degrees and this was at 210 and 210 degrees but at 200 it was coming out a little bit better so I stayed with 200 degrees and this was one of the first print also and then printed out two benches and the each color and one was printed on the MK2 and one on the on the CR10 this one's on the CR10 and this was on the MK2 and they both came out pretty good and absolutely no issues to speak of so they were looking looking good in all aspects so it was very easy to to use this filament and then printed out those two guys the Omnum and the Otis model and they came out beautiful also as well no no issues to speak of and, and just a very good consistent print and I was really happy with the, with the Omnum that's just beautiful and no issues at all sometimes I get a little bit drooping in this area but not it, at this time it was just absolutely perfect so those came out great then I found this boat on Thingiverse and want to try that model out and printed it it was uh, coming out excellent and absolutely no issues so it was the probably one of the easiest filament I've ever tested just everything printed out great without any errors um, here's Mr. Belly my, my test model and um, this also came out excellent and um, absolutely no no issues um, the letters in the, in the Mr. Belly here came out great and my logo here was coming out good as well so this was this was working quite well and um, no issues and here I was tr printing out the retraction test on my CR10 and I got a little bit of stringing and that's probably just some settings I have to adjust on the CR10 because I was not getting this stringing on my Prusa printers but other than that it came out pretty good and, and here's some bridging test I found I think it was also and the bridging and overhang were doing a really good job and this is a 70 degree overhang and it has uh, it has pretty good surface uh, the 45 now the 60 degrees here is absolutely flawless and then on 65 and, and 70 degrees there's a little bit of drooping but no, there's nothing loose on the overhang so it was working quite good and then decided to test a little bit more aggressive overhangs and longer bridges so I created this test file in Fusion 360 and this has uh, a 80 degree overhang um, this span is is 120 millimeters long and it printed out absolutely flawlessly there was absolutely no issues with the with the printing on the overhangs just came out absolutely perfect and it's quite quite big gap to fill but no no issues so this is from one side and this is the other side so they tested both sides were coming out excellent um, this was printed on my CR10 and here I had a little bit of, of drooping on the overhangs but the bridges came out pretty good and here I didn't have any issues so this is probably a cooling issue on my CR10 causing this but the filament is giving me very good performance in all aspects of print quality so I was quite happy with that so as you could see I, I printed quite a number of things and usually when I test filament I, I don't print so many things and, and like with the landscape I've already started to use this filament in my landscape 3D 
three D models, and I was really happy with this filament. And I've gone through most of the blue and almost all of the grey and a little bit of the white. So I have quite some left. And I bought this on Amazon, and it's a really good price. So. Uh, based on price and, and the availability for me to ship to Iceland, it was a very good option for me. So I'll definitely get some more filament when I need more. But this was my review of this filament from Filament Friday or Chuck Hallebuck. It is a very good PLA filament. It was giving me excellent results in my prints and very easy to print with. Printed just as good on my CR10 as my MK2 or MK3 printers and I had no issues. Uh, with this filament. It was coming out pretty strong in the brake tests and uh, surface finish of the filament is really good and, and ease of print is, is excellent. So if you if you need a filament definitely have a look at this filament. I'll post a link in the video description to the Amazon uh, App Store. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that but I want to give you the link nevertheless. So for now I, I thank you for watching and hope I hope you subscribe to my channel and, and give this a Give this video a thumbs up or a like or a dislike or a, or a comment. And especially if you do a dislike, please tell me why <laughs> you don't like this video. So it's a great, greatly appreciated if you leave a comment. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.